How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I'm excited to review this cotton candy machine. It's the first one I've ever tried. It's like you can relive being in a theme park but at home. This is the Cotton Candy Maker 2.0 from the Candery. When the box says is of the highest quality construction and they guarantee it, I think they look over their production process very carefully. It comes with a stainless steel bowl so you're not eating off of any plastics. There are four locking positions that locks onto the base. Comes with this plastic guard to keep all your cotton candy inside the base of the machine the locking mechanism it's on this side as well on all four sides 475 watts suction cups on four corners to keep it on the table comes with this key you can open this if you want and inside we see the heating element I can turn it on just for a short while you see it gets really hot little exit holes within this container as it spins this thing it will push the air upwards this is the chamber that you put all the sugar and it just flings it around put the top bowl on and then you rotate it you got to rotate it pretty good until it snaps in place and you turn it on for five minutes to preheat it comes with 10 starter paper sticks, a spray bottle for cleaning, I just put water in there, a scoop for sugar, and the tool to remove the top piece. The three 11 ounce jars comes in raspberry blue, strawberry, vanilla, pink, and also 50 paper cones. The three six pound jars are bigger, but instead of the vanilla pink, you get a grape instead. Okay, five minutes is up. This is the vanilla pink. You can see it's fairly finely granulated. The first time I did it, I just thought, eh, let me just put it in there while it's spinning. No, you really need to stop it first or else it just flings sugar everywhere. Pour that in there and then turn it back on. You got the first fibers coming here. Use your fingers and just keep on twisting it like that. Fresh cotton candy, you can eat it very fast. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. After you're done, spray a little bit of water to kind of wash it out. I put one tablespoon in there and it looks like it swung out a lot of sugar crystals towards the side without producing the cotton candy. When I put in maybe only one teaspoon, it worked a lot better. Now I'm going to try to make some designs. It just smells like cotton candy. It smells very strawberry. Well, yeah, you know, you can do it in the air if you want. It's almost like spider webs. It's so fine. I'm going to use one of these bigger cones. You don't actually have to wait until it completely stopped. You get a good feel for it that it's slow enough and then you can put in some sugar. After you turn it back on, it takes about a minute before the cotton candy starts spinning out. This is my first try with this blue. You can't really see what's on top because I covered it with blue on top. So you really need to go from the side, I think. Don't drop it in there. Just kind of messes it up. So when it gets a little bit too big, you got to start doing it up here. And sometimes the cotton candy gets stuck down there, right? So you got to help it out a little bit by getting some stick and attach it onto your cotton candy out here. Hmm, sugar. This is the purple one. It's not quite purple. I think maybe I need it to be more concentrated to really see the purple. This one I'm using is pink. Here's the end product, my second failed experiment, and this is my first failed experiment. It takes a little bit of practice. All the sugar that is not eaten, I suppose you could eat this, but you'd rather eat the cotton candy. You can now remove this and go and clean it in the sink. This is still fairly hot, but we can remove this and clean it later. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to give this a go yourself, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.